Well, normally I take you guys along when I build something, but uh, I was doing this one in the dark last night. Apparently it's supposed to be a big winter storm tomorrow, so I, I didn't have a lot of daylight. I don't usually do stuff like that on Sunday, so that leaves Saturday and uh, Monday is when the storm's happening, so I uh, have most of it built. There's still two windows up here in the top that uh, need to be built. And uh, I still need to attach this door frame right here. It, uh, it sits in this space right here in the front. So, but I still need to clean out the center. I, I left the original dirt from my raised garden bed in there. But uh, it is standing. Uh, man, I sure came into a lot of trouble with this. Uh, the plans uh, count on you knowing stuff. Like, uh, they use these funky little square bolts, like this one. Alright, there's a, several places in the plans where they have you, where they have you put them in, in, uh, in a place like this. Like that. And then screw into them from the back. So... And that's just, it, it's hard to explain in the, in the plans. The plans are a really terrible uh, Chinese, Chinese interpretation. What else did I learn? I learned, like for example, here there's these, uh, there's these diagonal supports right here. And you, you bolt them in right here. But then when you go to, to bolt them in right here, you can't. You have to. You have to come up to this channel, undo this screw, and put one of these square bolts into this track. Right? You can't do it after the fact. It's got to be before, because it's got to come in from the top. And then you slide it down like this, and then you screw on, or and you you put a, a nut on the back of it. And so that happens on all these four vertical supports, and they don't tell you about that until after you've you've already built that part. And uh, the same thing happened here in the windows. When you do the windows, they, uh, they have a similar deal where up top you have to get into this channel so you can put this nut so you can put a bolt on it. Those are going to be nice windows, don't you think? I think that's a good space. A uh, good spot for a greenhouse. I trimmed down my, my tops. They look all ugly because I had to do it with a with a bow saw from inside. Um, anyway, so it's not huge, but I can stand up in it. And, and, and there's a six foot uh, or seven foot uh, top now, thanks to my uh, my one foot tall foundation. I was really worried about it last night about 11:30. I was out here working on it, and uh, that's what this light's all about. I was, I was wrapping up, and I thought, man, there's nothing holding this thing to the foundation. So I went and got some self-tapping, some self-tapping screws with uh, with little rubber washers at the bottom, and I used those to to bolt it down. Otherwise, this whole thing was was. I mean, you could just pick it up, and it would lift. Well. I've had canopies uh, in my backyard, those little pop-up ones that have, that have blown into the neighbor's yard. That's happened to me a couple times. Um, anyway, it's standing. Sweet. They have this funky system for, for keeping the, uh, the windows in. And these little spider brackets. That's what I call them. I don't think they're called that. I have a, a little basket of them. That I still need to to apply, but let me let me show you the gist of it. Basically, you take this, and there's a uh, there's a groove up top here. Well, let me get you a better camera angle. This is a good one. All right, so these uh, let's come down a little. Basically, you 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 uh, you put the legs up into this metal channel and then you press and press and press 
which is nearly impossible one-handed, I guess. You press and press until, until the metal part gets tucked in back behind the, the plastic on, uh, on both sides. And then this, uh, this piece here, this piece right here keeps the plastic in and this puts tension on the plastic this way. So, so you can sort of see on this one, when I press the glass from behind, it's able to, it's able to flex in that space, but it's being held in by metal forces it, metal forces it that way and also forces it that way so that it uh, stays flush. And it was a pretty pretty good wind night, but these, these little th things stay in. I might get some more of those rubber washers and and just just uh, come along here and and uh, you know put a couple of self-tapping screws through it just to give it more more power. There's a there's a bracket back there. They say you can only do that for a short time before the plastic becomes brittle and it breaks when you try to drill into it. But when it's new, it's uh, fairly flexible. It's a better view. There's a nice big bracket for the sliding sliding door. I didn't get that finished, but I didn't really want to work on it on Sunday. So it's going to wait till till tomorrow. And then I've got a bunch of other bunch of other work to do. I still need to to clear out all the all the tree branches from my from my big escapade last weekend where I was uh, uh, well let's call it tree trimming <laughs> anyway that's it till next time